Hello everyone, this is Steph. Uh, I have been uh, asked the question how to keep the scale of the timeline. For example, sometimes we have uh, small clips and we have to zoom in to uh, select a specific part. For example, out of these three clips, this one is the smallest. And there is a specific part where I want to select. So I would like to zoom in on the timeline like this. There are two methods to zoom uh, to increase the scale of timeline. One is from here, from the setting, and the second is you can simply press plus or minus on your uh, numeric keyboard. So right now I have uh, increased the scale of timeline on this clip, and if I go inside the clip, I applied any effect, and when I come back it goes back to the default 100% scale of the timeline. So many of you ask how you can keep that scale instead of uh, going back. Uh, so I will go in the settings. If you go on top right here, options. There you will see option for timeline options. In that there is timeline scale control. Here if you click you will see one is don't save, one is always save, save, and one is save timeline scale for every object. So I will apply the first one, always save timeline scale. Click OK. Now if you increase the scale, so for example, this is the scale level. Even if I open it and come back, to the main timeline it is still it still stays same but uh, with this setting this scale what you applied it applies to all of them now what I mean for example this is the hundred person scale you increase the scale to see this video you increase the scale now when you will open this you can see this scale is also applied inside it. And uh, if you open another video, you will see the scale has applied on this one too. So this is, if you use this setting, always save timeline scale, then any scale you apply once, it will apply on all of the videos. But if you want to save uh, for specific object only, then you have to select save timeline scale for every object what is the difference I will put it back to 100% scale now if I just want the scale for uh, inside of this small video what I mean is now I'm on the main timeline scale if I apply the scale and you open any video for example I open this video you can see it is in original uh, scale if you come here you see hundred percent so the scale is only applied if you go back only on the main timeline scale so the same way for example if I on the main timeline if I put a hundred percent and I open this uh, this video and I want to zoom in on this one for example sometimes it happens you have so many effects like this for example For example, you have so many effects and uh, you want to zoom in on uh, one effect, you do this. Now when you will go back onto the main timeline scale, uh, on the main timeline you will see the scale is back to 100%. But when you will open this video, inside scale, uh, inside still the scale is applied what you used. So this is the difference. If you use the setting timeline scale for every object so in which object you are right now you apply the scale it will only apply on that one it will not apply on all of them so
that's all. I hope you like it. Thank you.